everyone welcome to my video this is Jackal say hi Jackal <laughs> and I'm Helen if you don't already know and I think my other little gremlin wants to come and say hi so happy and this is Timbit so all right all right enough with that so this video um, is going to be kind of a, a newer type video that I've done and it's been requested because I've been posting a lot of snapchats um, if you guys want to follow me on snapchat my username is Hail and May at Hail and May and I've been posting a lot of snapchats on a lot of vegan dishes that I've made I've done vegan pad thai, vegan general tao, I've done tacos um, so I've done like quite a few things so a lot of people were asking me about it and I thought hey why not make a video I didn't know if I was going to be ready because to be quite honest, I wouldn't call myself a vegan, um, let alone a vegetarian. It's just such a, the transition is just such a struggle and I've been, um, I guess, transitioning to becoming vegan for a couple months now, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not gonna say I'm perfect and say that, you know, I just winged it like that and I winged it. I mean, I just snapped my fingers and everything was easy and I didn't eat meat or seafood or any of that stuff because that's not true and I'm not going to lie to you guys straight up because this is going to be about the truth about becoming a vegan and you know there's a lot of positive points to it and that's why I wanted to make this video um, but there's also a lot of like struggles and it's a fucking struggle like, so I started about about a year and a half ago um, when I got my braces, I pretty much started just kind of transitioning to different life changes and lifestyle and all of that. Because of my braces, I could not chew anything. And just to like back up a little bit, um, I've never really liked the taste of meat anyways. I kind of just, I dis disliked um, pretty much all meat taste except for chicken. Um, and so for me, like cutting out meat wasn't the hardest thing. And you know, I've always just loved animals. Ever since I was younger, I've always had this passion to help animals. I used to, you know, rescue horses that were chained up. And I mean, I can do story time videos for you guys. But this is me as like a 10 year old kid, like rescuing these animals, rescuing birds, chickens, like. You, you guys can just hear the whole stories, um, geese even, <laughs> um, I used to run after deer, like I, I was just a crazy kid and I've always loved the, like the wild and animals and I kind of got like raised on a farm and so I got to see a lot of things, um, it was primarily a dairy farm, um, and it wasn't like advanced but anyhow. I will definitely do story time videos about that and so animal cruelty definitely is something that came into you know is one of the factors of why I wanted to change my life um, but like a lot of it to be honest is health health was my number one but uh, don't get me wrong like animal cruelty of course I love the animals we should never be you know we shouldn't treat them the way that we do um, and you know it's not sustainable for our, our, our planet to consume as much meat and dairy products that we do health was a major major factor because I was somewhat diagnosed not really diagnosed because it's very hard to diagnose IBS um, if you guys don't know what that is it's irritable bowel syndrome um, it's really difficult to diagnose you have to go through years of just like analyzing certain things of like when you'd have like certain attacks when you wouldn't have attacks like it's just like this whole thing and so that that was my life for, for a really really long time and I wouldn't want to go on vacation I remember I wouldn't want to go to people's houses um, for fear of having like an attack and, and being really really vigor violently vigorously violently sick um, and it happened I mean it happened a lot my family knew you know they they were there with me um, and so I would have a lot of issues that with my stomach I'd have pain like constantly on my left side like basically I'll show you like right here I would just have this horrible pain and it was like this stabbing pain that just would not go away um, and that was you know up until about about maybe six months ago I want to say um, that's when I really started transitioning about six months ago really trying started to eat healthy eat a lot of vegetables eat a lot of fruits um, cut out meat um, the only thing I didn't cut out was uh, fish uh, and, and seafood so shrimp fish oysters those types of things shellfish 
um, which I am now transitioning into, but you know, I thought, you know, one thing at a time, like I will cut out meat and that's honestly the best way to transition and I'm trying to get my mom to do the same and she's really, you know, she sees all the benefits that it has had and impacted in my life. My skin is great, my hair, well, it's dyed right now, but <laughs> my hair was so much better, my skin, um, the weight loss, like a flatter tummy. Like you guys can't even believe, honestly. Like I will definitely show pictures you know, I don't want to show these pictures, they're very, very embarrassing, but I will show these pictures for you guys, just to give you guys kind of like, you know, a little sneak peek, if you will. Um, basically, about a year ago, when I went on a trip to Maine with my friend, Old Orchard Beach, uh, we took a couple like bikini photos, and man, I just, I remember looking back at those pictures at that time, and I was like, you know, I always lied to myself, saying like it was never that bad, like I was never that big, saying like, it's not that bad, it wasn't that bad, I was never that big, but honestly, I was 197 pounds, so I was almost 200 pounds, which is crazy, and I eat McDonald's all the time, fast food all the time, like it's, the amount of animal, like dairy products, meat, like you couldn't even believe like meat three times a day and that's not healthy, trust me, like uh uh, I would feel sluggish, I'd have headaches, I would be in bed all the time, just super lethargic, watching TV, like it just was not a good life, it was not a good life y'all. And I mean, I don't know if you guys are struggling with something similar to that, um, it's okay, I'm not saying like, you know, I'm not trying to like anybody <laughs> but I'm just saying for me like it wasn't the life that I wanted to live and so I really once I got my braces I was like you know what this is a chance I can only eat liquid stuff um, that was about a year ago so I started with leek and potato soup I started with tons of soups tons of really really easy things uh, no meat so I really really tried hard to to cut everything out I didn't cut dairy out at that point um, but you know I did cut out meat so that was the main thing that I was really really happy about and uh, you know through through the, the next couple of like months I did have like some downfalls where I did eat meat and you know everyone pressures you like my grandmother for one my grandmother she was like you know you're gonna die you're not eating meat you're gonna die like straight up you're going to die Helen you can't not eat meat like she freaked out at me and I was like it's okay. <laughs> like, uh, I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm intelligent enough to know where to get my protein intake and how much I need. I'm not going to die. And she was like, you're going to be so sick and blah, 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 blah. And um, uh, anyways, it, you're not going to die. I promise you, you are not going to die. If anything, your immune system is going to be boosted and you are going to be healthier. And once I started, you know, just changing, it's not a fast process, guys. It's not an overnighter. It's not like, oh, I'm going to eat a bowl of cherries. I'm going to feel great now because of it no like it's a freaking full-time thing that you got to keep at it and you got to make sure that you're getting your nutrients make sure that you're getting your protein um and just keep going and i like fruits a lot so i eat a lot of fruits more so than vegetables and i'm really trying right now the diet the uh raw till four diet so i'm gonna try that and see how that goes but as of right now i was guys this is crazy so last year with those pictures I showed you, I was about 190, 97 pounds, and I am now 145. So that's like pretty impressive. And I didn't change like right away. So this is about eight months, nine months going at it, and I went all the way down to 145. And I'll show you some recent pictures of me now. Uh, maybe not in my bikini, but you know, <laughs> once it becomes summer outside, I will show you guys some updated bikini ones because I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep on, now I'm full force. I cut out meat, I cut out seafood, I cut out dairy. So now I am like full force and this has been about the last two months about. Um, of course, there's been times where I will, you know, <laughs> give in to peer pressure. That's the thing, just don't listen to people. Like, it's your own body, do not listen to people um, and just stick to it because it is, it is a struggle. In our society nowadays, it's the norm to, to eat meat and it's the norm to have like seafood and eat all these dead animals and it's horrible, but 
that's the norm. Now, honestly, when I see uh, me, I get physically ill. Like, I'm like, ugh, gross. No, that's a dead animal. You have to just think in your in your head, like, they were once alive. You're li you're eating a living, once living being that was murdered for you to eat. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm not going to get more into it, but I wanted to do a quick video about the struggles and a little about my story about getting into becoming a vegan. I'll let you guys all go. Thank you so much. I love you. Don't forget to be you and stay beautiful. Love you guys. Bye. You know, I'm optimistic and I'm excited and I can't wait to show you guys my journey and how, you know, I feel and my just accomplishments. I'm so excited to show you guys that. So I hope you guys like these videos. If you do, give me a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know. I will let you guys all go. Thank you so much. I love you. Don't forget to be you and stay beautiful. Love you guys. Bye.